Hey, boys and girls, so glad to see you here this evening. Hope you've had a wonderful week. Hope you've enjoyed just getting out and doing things. I hope you've had a good week at school or whatever you were doing, uh, daycare or, or with grandparents or whatever you did this week. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Remember, we've been talking about the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments, we know that God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses, right? To the children of Israel. The Ten Commandments are found in Exodus chapter 20, 1 through 17. You can read it there. It's also recorded again in Deuteronomy 5, 1 through 22, where it talks to us about, in, in chapter 22, it talks to about how God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. God gave them to His people to help them. Not to try to control them, not to, kind of, to, to make them mad, but to help them to live a life pleasing to God and in cooperation or in, uh, in good ways with other people so they could have peace among other people. We know that. And God gave these Ten Commandments. And God called Moses up to Mount Sinai and He put these commandments on tablets, two tablets for Moses to bring down to the children of Israel so that they could live uh, in peace with God and in peace with other people. We also know that these Ten Commandments, um, the first four, they deal with our relationship to God. How can we live a life pleasing and honoring to God? And then the last six deal with, yes, other people. How can we live a life that gives uh, us peace in our relationship with other people? How can we live in unity and peace with other people? How can we honor God and how can we live peaceable with other people? And we're going to talk about that. Remember that first commandment that we talked about was what? Remember the first one? See number one? It was, Thou shall have no other gods. That means we should worship nobody else. Nothing else. We should only worship and honor God with our whole life. The God of heaven. The one that created everything that we have. Have no other gods. We make all kinds of gods in our lives, and we shouldn't have any other God, should we? Only God. Not let uh, a toy or anything else become or take the place of the God of heaven. Only God. God should be number one in our hearts and our lives. That's why commandment number one is have no other gods, right? Then we get to commandment number two, and we're going to talk about commandment number two today a little bit more. And it is, thou shalt make no graven images. Well, that's weird because that's a word on there that maybe we don't understand. What's a graven image? Why, why is that even there? And why shouldn't we do it? Why shouldn't we have it? Well, a graven image is something that has been carved or crafted to represent a god, and it's used as a thing that people would worship, like a symbol or, or, or something that people would bow down and worship, like a carved statue or any kind of thing like that that was created to worship with the sole purpose of worshiping that thing. And God says we shouldn't have anything like that that we bow down to or worship. Our God is alive and active in our lives. You see, if you had an image or an idol or something that was carved that you were worshiping and you talk to it, you're like, oh, please help me get a good grade on my test. Oh, please help me to have a good day. Oh, please help my mom and she's not feeling well. Oh, please help me. I've got a cough. Any of those things. Do you think that thing that was carved can help you? Can it even hear you? No, it's just a carved thing. It can't do anything to help you. So God wanted to make sure that His children didn't worship those type of things. Because calling out to them is useless. God said, don't make any of those kind of images. Don't worship those kind of images. Only worship me. Only pray and talk to me. Because I'm alive. I'm active and I can help you. So when you're not feeling well and you say, Lord, I don't feel so good today. Help me to feel better. 
God is alive and cares about you and wants to help you to feel better. When something's going on and, and you need help with it, or maybe somebody's sick in your family, or maybe somebody is not doing well, or, or maybe somebody lost a love, anything that we can do to talk to God about, God hears it, listens, answers, and helps us during those tough times. That's why number two is make no graven images because it doesn't do any good to talk to them or worship them anyway. We need to worship a living God, a God that can help us in our time of need. So remember, number one, have no other gods. God is number one. Number two, do not worship images or carve things or anything else. Only worship the true living God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you do in our lives. We're glad that you are alive and active. We don't have to worship some kind of image or something that's been carved or something that's been made. We can worship you, the real, true, living God. And because we can worship you, you hear us and you're active in answering those things because you love us so much. Thank you for that. Amen. Now, parents, sit down with your kids, talk to them about what a graved image could be, what, what a carved image could be, any of those kind of things. And also talk to them about what God's people were doing during those times because they were worshiping all kinds of things other than the one true God. And God wanted to make sure they understood, worship me and serve me only because I can help you because I'm alive. So sit down with your kids, talk to them about that, help them to understand number one and number two. And then next week we'll talk about Number three. We'll talk about number three. So have a great week. And if there's anything I can do to help you, please let me know. Anything I can pray for you about. I sure do hope I get to see you uh, next Sunday. Love you.